It's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. I'm so glad you dropped by today. I will be demonstrating how to make a custom envelope. So sometimes we have cards that are a little odd in size, like this one that I made that's 5x5. Five five. Well, I didn't have a ready-made envelope, so I had to make my own, and it looks like this. To help me accomplish that, I will be using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. This is a great little tool. You can see that you can make envelopes for card sizes that are two by three and a half up to six by eight and a half inches. And let me show you how this works. So it shows you what your foundation of your envelope is going to look like. It has the directions on the board as well as this handy little ruler across the top. And then it shows you for each card size what you're going to need to do. It also includes a little extra directions for cards in centimeters. In my case, for the 5x5, five five, you can see the paper size and the score lines that I'll be working with. So let's get started. Again, this is a 5x5 five five inch card. I will bring over my envelope punch board. And here you have an overview of what that looks like. It includes its own bone folder stored handily in the side there, as well as all the directions, the card sizes, for the card size, what paper size you need to start with. Let me focus in a little better here. So again, the paper size you start with and the score line you're going to need to make. So I move over here and I can see for a five by five inch card, I need to start with eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter inch piece of paper. Now I use lightweight paper that's got color on one side and white on the other because you don't want your envelopes to be too heavy for the mailing purposes. I bring over my paper trimmer and the score, the envelope punch board told me that I need to cut my paper down to eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. So I'll get that done very quickly here. Then I'm going to take that eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter piece of paper and it tells me that my score line needs to be at four and a quarter. So I will take the left hand side of my paper, get aligned at four and a quarter. Take your time with this to make sure your measurements are precise. Then I take my bone folder and do my first score line and punch. I'm going to turn my paper 90 degrees and line that score line up with the score guide. You can see there is a little pointed piece on the punch and that helps you make sure that you're aligned with the score guide. So you're going to do this four times and you can see the score lines are very easy to see and getting that lined up with the point on the punch. Just really taking your time to make sure you're doing as precise as you possibly can and turning 90 degrees until you've got all of your sides punched and scored. This is my last one right here. And as you can see, the foundation of my envelope is complete and looks exactly like the diagram depicted on the front of the envelope punch board. Now, if you go on the other side of the punch, this will round your corners. So this is so handy. This one little tool does everything for custom envelopes. Now, I just punched two of my flaps because those are the only ones that are going to show. You can. Uh, round your corners on all four flaps if you wish. Then you sim simply take your bone folder and reinforce those score lines. Again, the white is the outside of my envelope and the blue will be the coordinating color for the inside of my envelope. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm a stickler for finishing my envelopes, lined or coordinated to go with all of my cards. So I'll take a little bit of glue here and adhere the first two flaps. You want to make sure that you don't get any glue on the inside of the flaps because of course you want your card to fit in easily to your finished envelope. And then just be cognizant of using as little glue as needed for your bottom flap. 
just enough to adhere the flap. Leaving the inside of your envelope free and clear for your card to slide right in. And that's basically it. It didn't take very long to make a custom envelope and you can see this is going to be perfect for my little 5 by 5 inch card. So the last thing I want to do um, is add something for my flap and I chose this Scotch Create tape which is a permanent double sided tape. And I'm going to use that for the last flap so that when I'm ready to mail my card all I have to do is peel back that release paper and my double sided tape will seal my envelope. Now I leave this release paper on here until I'm ready to mail my card which is no problem. Just a lot neater that way you don't have to worry about having a sticky flap till you're ready for it. And that about does it for my tape there. You can see how easily this peels back when you're ready to seal your envelope. So that's it. I hope you get inspired and not over intimidated about making your own custom envelopes when needed. I'm so glad you dropped by today. Feel free to subscribe to see other videos. I have several of them out there on how to line your envelopes and also on cards. So happy crafting everyone!